Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you have, I really appreciate the support. And if you're new here, hey, my name is Loise Ogasa and thank you so much for clicking on this video. As some of you may know, I recently completed my undergraduate degree majoring in psychology at the University of Cape Town. But boy, there are things I wish I knew before deciding to study psychology at university. So if you're interested in studying psych one day or just interested in the topic in general, please keep on watching. So here are the five things I wish I would have known before studying psychology at university. Numero uno. Before going to university, I thought that all I needed to get was my undergraduate degree in psychology and then I'd be off to go and practice as a clinical psychologist. However, in my first year, I found out that that is not the case. In order to qualify and practice as a clinical psychologist one day, you actually need to get your um, undergraduate degree in psychology, which usually takes about three years. Then secondly, you need to get your honors degree, that is a year. Then after that, you need to get your master's degree, which is two years. But you also need to do your internship for at least 12 months. And you can do your internship at a clinic or a hospital or a social work environment. But that's not all. Before you can actually uh, get registered as a clinical psychologist, you need to be successful in what is called the National Examination of the Professional Board for Psychology. And if you're successful in that examination, then you can finally um, be registered and start practicing as a clinical psychologist. Numero dos. <laughs> Studying psychology at university is very competitive. If you plan on going the whole way, getting your honors, getting your masters, and then doing everything else you need to do in order to actually practice as a clinical psychologist. So I was not aware that it is so competitive. Literally hundreds apply for um, their honors degree after they complete their undergraduate degree, but literally a few get chosen. And it's even worse once you apply for your master's degree. It's literally a handful that gets picked to um, pursue their masters in clinical psychology. So it's very competitive and you have to keep your grades up. Don't think you can come into first year uh, and if you wanna do something like clinical psychology, don't think you can come into first year and you know take it easy, cruise, test the waters a bit with your grades. No, 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 hit the ground running from first year. That's my advice to you if you want to study um, psychology one day and eventually, you know, go into clinical psychology in your first year, please hit the ground running and don't lose your pace. Keep your pace up here. People are so hardworking and you know, they're very competitive as well because they know that there are only a few spots, you know, in the honors program as well as in the master's program. Numero tres. If you plan on studying psychology one day, please don't think you've left maths behind in high school. That is a lie. <laughs> If you're like me, I was so glad to finish high school because I knew I'd be done with maths. But little did I know that I would face maths in my psychology degree. There are research courses you do in your psychology degree that involve statistics. So when I first encountered uh, statistics at university in my first year, I was first taken aback, you know, I was like, I thought I left maths behind. <laughs> In high school um, but then I was pleasantly uh, surprised it's it's not difficult if you have tutors to help you understand you know um, how the whole statistics world works and I think it really makes understanding um, your findings in terms of your research um, much easier so don't be afraid don't be afraid if you hate maths 
it's okay stats is not gonna kill you you'll survive you can do it I did it you can do it too numero cuatro the coursework you do for your psychology degree involves a lot of essay writing so before starting my undergraduate degree in psychology I didn't expect to write as many essays as we did however I survived I'm here so if you're thinking about studying psychology one day and you believe that you know essay writing is your strong point you love essay writing I'm sure you'll be fine but if you are the opposite and you you know you're not too keen about writing essays I don't think it should be something that stops you from pursuing you know your undergraduate degree in psychology the topics we got to research in our undergraduate degree were so so interesting and I never really got bored of writing these essays because the topics were so interesting and also there is help available if you struggle with essay writing there's something called the writing center on campus where you can go and you know get guidance on how to write your essay and to structure it numero cinco yeah, yeah. one of the things i wish i knew before studying psychology at university was the number of times i would hear this line oh you're studying psychology yeah can you read my mind I was definitely not aware of the number of people that actually think people who are studying psychology can read their minds but it's always fun to be like yeah i can <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video guys if you liked it please leave a like and comment down below if you're studying at the moment or you know you studied something i'm really interested to know what did you study and what is one or two things you wish you would have known before you went to study that i'd also really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel so please hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video see you on the next one ciao